Hey everyone, welcome back, truth be told, third time, to the Retro Gamers Podcast, episode number 164, uh, the, 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 it's not, it's just, it is what it is now, Larry here, and Anthony here, we've congratulated each other twice already for being back on the same episode, and, yeah. uh, Let's do you know, it again. I, I, yeah, you know what? Welcome back. I feel like uh, we've skipped over Christmas and are now on Groundhog Day. Basically, we went right to February. This is ridiculous. Um, but we're back together. No co-hosts. No handheld episodes. We're uh, it's like home. It's like a homecoming week here on the Retro Gamers. Yes, it is. It is just us. Um, it, it's great to be back. It's great to you know just have you and me. And it's a very merry time of year. So it. Is very festive and triumphant, and I am jolly because I am. Uh, you got the Santa beard. I'm starting to look like Santa. I'm starting to get to the size of Santa, which may or may not be good, but whatever. Um, you, you got a, your. You, you had a few too many ho ho hos. I did. <laughs> That's for a different. Or should I just say ho hos? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's what I, I meant. Have... That's what I meant to say. I got one extra ho in there. Sorry. Oh, I do have a Captain Ho Ho. Uh, no, it's Captain Cupcake Pop Vinyl. Never mind. I forgot who the Ho Ho uh, Hostess <laughs> logo was because they oh, put it out as pop vinyls. Nice, but I do have Captain Cupcake. Nice. Um, you have you're rocking your your ugly Christmas sweater. I do. It's not that ugly. Come on, and it's Mario. oh, it is vomit inducing. That is Mary Mario. No, that's very cool. Actually, very nice. I couldn't find. I I had one. I honestly don't know where it is. Uh, an ugly Christmas sweater. I think it got thrown out in between the move back in like April. So okay. Is what it is. I'll get one for next year. <laughs> well, I mean, you you should have something, something I Christmas. Th- I know. I honestly thought I did. Well, I got the snowman behind me here, so I got that going on. And the beard. Uh, it's, it's kind that of that too. I'm I'm chubby, like like Santa Claus, so that works. So and and on occasion, you can be jolly. On occasion, yes, <laughs> not that often anymore, but <laughs> that's a whole nother story. And again, another podcast. Yeah. Um, so, but this is Christmas time. I love Christmas time. Um, I feel the holiday though kicks off. I'm ignoring that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel the that's, holiday. That, that, that's Santa suing you for copyright infringement. Probably. I'm just going through. This happened to me on the last episode too that I did. Nice. Um, no, I don't want any. Okay, nope, I don't recognize the number. So, um, you know, Christmas time, I feel like, starts almost in October because everyone kicks in the holiday season with Halloween, Mm -hmm. which I don't get, but that's just me. But then they go straight to Christmas, and everyone forgets about Thanksgiving. All those turkeys are are eaten for for, for naught at that point in my mind. Well, no, I mean, I I think everybody forgets about Thanksgiving because at the end of the day, we've boiled Thanksgiving down to an eating holiday where it's all about just eating a lot of food. So, um, you know... The powers that be in the commercial world decided to take over November and <laughs> Black Friday, and thank, you know, but Black Friday and stores opening on Thanksgiving Day and pre-Black Friday sales going all the way to November first. So really, I mean, yeah. honestly, you're right. I saw a lot. That's the new thing this year was the yeah. pre-Black Friday. It was nuts. Yeah, everybody's getting a jump on things. They just yeah, they don't want to wait until Black Friday because they want to be first. I, I, I mean, I took advantage of it, but yeah, it's it's crazy. It's, uh, so it's, did I. Uh, <laughs> nutty time of year. <laughs> um, well, it's, it's a nutty time of year for emptying your pocket. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank God for plastic. So, yes. um, and, uh, you know, during the, the Christmas season, probably next to, like, someone's birthday, at least growing up, because no one really buys me video games much anymore, mm-hmm. um, Christmas was, like, the go-to day for for holiday shopping and 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 for the new listeners uh you know and we hope we have new listeners new watchers on youtube um wherever you listen to podcasts you can find the retro gamers you know me and aunt we we love doing this podcast we've known each other for over 25 years i believe at this point yes. uh, or at 25 years actually and yeah. um I, I i i make a mark on my arm every time so. <laughs> well all those, all those years ago when I was brought in on the yearbook team. Um, I regret it to this day. <laughs> oh, ah. um, <laughs> bah, <humbug. laughs> and with that, folks, there you go. That's why we rarely record. No, I'm kidding. Um, you know, uh, for the new listeners, we like on this podcast, me and Anthony really like doing this show for the more the reminiscing part. You know, I, uh, me and Aunt, Aunt, we've never really said we we're going to change how people think about the video game industry. We just want to be able to talk and remember the good old days uh growing up 
Yeah, and not only remember the good old days, but to talk about the the memories we're making today. You know, um, just um, having this podcast, talking about video gaming, and sharing our experiences with gaming today um, as we play games of the present and the past. Because yeah, it's nice. You know, with the 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 beauty of online, um, you know, we can download everything at this point from yesteryear. Um, the world. Really- well, that too. And I was going to say the world is very small uh, at this point because I'm in New York, you're in California, and here we are um, recording. Yeah. So, and, uh, and, and speaking of small world, um, I have a new listener story for you. Oh, okay. So, cool. uh, I like that. yeah. So a few days ago, I was uh, on my way to work. We were kind of, you know, last week before our holiday break, which is always mm-hmm. nice. Um, and, um, you know, I, I showed up at work and one of my coworkers walks up to me and he's like, hey, he's like, you have a podcast. And I looked at him and I said, <laughs> that's, literally, that's what he said to me. He's like, you have a podcast. And I'm like, yes, I do have a podcast. I'm like, did somebody at work tell you about it or what? He's like, no. He's like, he's like, I was talking to a friend of mine. He's like, because I'm a gamer. And uh, and a friend of mine said, he's like, oh, he's like, um, if you like listening to podcasts, he's like, I, you know, you should listen to this podcast. It's all about retro gaming. It's really cool. And he started listening to the podcast. He's like, yeah, he's like, I started listening to the podcast. He's like, wait, I know that voice. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, time out. So someone you work well, first of all, the fact that you don't tell everyone on a daily basis you have a podcast, you just see me at work. Yeah. Um I do not sell my podcast Earthquake? at work. Yes. Oh god, do I ever. Um, so a coworker of yours discovered our podcast from a friend of theirs who you have no idea who this friend is. Nope, just random person. That is awesome. It's the randomness that I love. That yeah. is sweet. Oh yes. Yeah. So, uh, so I thought that was really cool, and we're gonna when I when I get back to the office uh, in the new year, we're gonna grab lunch and chat because apparently uh, he has a very um, a very impressive uh, retro gaming collection as well. Ooh. All right, there we go. So should be interesting. Yeah, we we you know going into the new year, some new stuff we want to talk because I know a friend of mine who who has a, a again retro gaming. He loves about it, and I keep getting him to listen to the podcast, which he does. Um, and uh, you know, maybe we can bring these people on to talk a little bit more about you know their collections and stuff. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, we'll see how uh, it goes. So, uh, Joe, if you're listening to this week's uh, podcast, uh, thank you for uh, thank you for joining the uh, Retro Gamers. Yes, thank you very much. If you want uh, our autographs, are twenty dollars each. Uh, I don't do photos. Autographs. Four for ten. I no, do. I'll hand I, mine I, out in a heartbeat. No, I was just going to say you'll pay somebody twenty dollars <laughs> to give you. <laughs> <laughs> I may have, and I would have, yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, very cool. All right, excellent. So, uh, and if you if you listen to the podcast, that's it. Word of mouth, share it on social mm-hmm. media. Just tell the world about us because uh, this is a fun little podcast. So we enjoy it. Um, yes, so I was talking about you know with, with Christmas time, uh, Christmas season mm-hmm. usually was the time to really um, take advantage as a child. Uh, take advantage of maybe, you know, expanding your gaming collection if it wasn't birthday time. And um, I thought maybe we can talk a little bit about some stuff like uh, holidays, um, some games maybe you remember getting. Or just overall, just fun times maybe with family, mm-hmm. sitting around the Yule Log, playing games or something. I, you can't sit around a Yule Log, I guess. But No, um, if you, you sit know. in it, it may hurt. That too. That it may too. burn a little bit. Um, you know... F- for me, uh, memory wise, you know, I, it's, I got to admit, and I am fully aware of this, especially at 39 years old, being an only child, maybe my Christmas was a little more, you know, condensed, uh, meaning I didn't have to worry about fighting anyone else for Christmas gifts. You, it's okay. You can use the S word. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't spoiled. I was far from being Notice spoiled. Notice how you went straight to that word. <laughs> I'm just saying. There are a lot of know, S words in the in the dictionary, but you went right to spoil. <laughs> well, the other ones I've been called, so it yeah. is what it is. <laughs> um, but um, you know, so growing up, I did get a lot of you know games during the uh, during that time, and um, some of my fondest memories was um, almost every not every year, but that year if a new game system came out. I, I guess this is actually almost going to be a sad story as well. Uh, when a new video game system came out, lo and behold, I'd get it for Christmas. I was like, sweet. Um, and even as time goes on, you know, and kind of realize the spirit of Christmas and all, um, you know, I kept getting these game systems. But honestly, my parents, they're the ones that never bought it for me. And I'm not saying that, like, you know, into my teens, I'm thinking, oh, Santa Claus is showing up. 
though. I was um, just gonna say if you're if you're gonna tell me that Santa brought you those uh, those game systems. I mean, I, I was a late bloomer, but um, you know, as much as I you know I, I talked about it on the better half, as mm-hmm. much as well, I, you know, if kids listen to the podcast, uh, cover your ears. Um, you know, as much as maybe Santa Claus, but I do believe in the spirit of Christmas and the spirit mm-hmm. of Santa, especially if you're a parent. Uh, I just feel like just something clicks. Anyway, well, anybody can believe in the spirit of Christmas. You just have to go down to the liquor store. No. <laughs> well, if that's the case, then I'm going to be celebrating the spirit of Christmas <laughs> all week, uh, especially when my cousin shows up on Christmas Eve. So, <laughs> um, so you know, I, I, I kept getting the systems. All right, cool, whatever it is. And then one year, I didn't get a system. And I forgot mm-hmm. what, what was the big one that year. I, I can't remember what it was. But I didn't get a system. So I'm like, okay. It is what it is. It was also the same year my grandfather died. So then it finally clicked. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, he was the one that kept getting me the video game systems for Christmas. And then I'm like, oh, I guess I'm not getting a video game system for a little while. (laughs) unless I stopped paying for it on my own. Mm -hmm. Um, So I do the adult world. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, honestly. So I do remember that. Um, so, you know, Grandpa, thank you for all the, the systems that you did get me over the years. Because um, mm. I was the only, his only grandchild here in New York. So, uh, but I I always remember that. And, and when I play some of the old systems, I do think of him. Um, I don't think you ever met him. Oh, well, yeah, you did. My dad's dad. Oh, yeah. No, I met him. Yeah. yeah was, I mean, if you met him, you, you, you can't forget him. No, um, I, definitely <laughs> do. I definitely do not. So- <laughs> So, um, so that's one of the good memories, especially now. Oh, mm-hmm. who just joined us? What happened? Uh, snow. Oh, snow has decided to run around. Yeah, she wants to invade. <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead, walk, walk. Here's your tail. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was one of the big memories that I had, especially after the fact. So I thought that was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you know, it's funny. Like we we were talking about this before we recorded. Um, we began recording. I have the hardest time remembering. Uh, well, not only did she shake this, but she managed to knock well, it knocked it all off. Yeah. yeah, she did some damage here. Yeah, you may, uh, you may be off, off center there for a few for a few moments. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, let's just fix this really quickly, and huzzah! So, right. um, so yeah. So uh, I always have a hard time like coming, not necessarily coming up with my Christmas memories, but coming up with my Christmas memories specific to um, video games because because my birthday is later in the year. I get I, I used to get video game gifts for my birthday, which is at the mm-hmm. end of October. So it's hard for me to remember which ones I got for my birthday, which ones I got for Christmas. Um, one particularly that I remember was in the late, uh, probably around like 80s, maybe 87, 88 ish. Um, so going back about 32 years. But um, <laughs> I remember it Ouch. was uh, the reason why I know uh, 1990. <laughs> It'll be 30 years ago in about Oh, a week. don't. Stop. No. No. Oh, yikes. Uh, no. Meanwhile, we're getting ready to hit 2020, and folks, I'm just going to call it out because we stopped three times already to do this. I'm fully aware that I'm lagging, and my sound and my video is not matching up with me, but me and Ant, we're already this far in. We're just going to go yeah. with this, so no, we're, with it. <laughs> we're, call- um, we're calling so, it. So. Uh, yeah, so uh, this was somewhere in the late 80s, and I remember I remember it because it was a very wrestling-themed Christmas. Oh, okay. Um, Sounds and, good to me. Yeah, and I got a lot of um, I got a lot of wrestling uh, re- wrestling figures. You know the large ones. Oh you know, yes. The uh, that were really cool. But the reason why I bring that up is because I also remember that uh, one uh, the get one of the games I specifically got that year was WrestleMania for the NES. Oh. And if you okay. remember. Yeah, and if you remember WrestleMania, uh, it only you know at that time it was like the first wrestling game. Um, first WWF wrestling game yep. on the um, Nintendo, and uh, do, 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 it, yeah, it, do, do. yeah, you know, it was very basic. It only had six characters. Uh, for the most part, you can just punch and kick and pin. Um, I think it was heavily based off of uh, the 1987 wrestlers because it was like, Hogan, oh yeah. Hogan, Andre, DiBiase, Savage, um, Bigelow. I think Bam Bam Bigelow was in there, yep. and uh, Honky Tonk Man. Oh, yeah, that's right, he was, yeah. Those were the six. Um, and I just remember, like, I remember, I, I mean, granted, when you go back and play the game now, it hasn't aged well. Really no, 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 no. No, not at all. Really bad. But when you're a kid and you get that for Christmas and you're a huge wrestling fan, you played that game nonstop. And oh, I, I remember, um, what are you pulling out there, the game? Yeah. Oh, so 
Um, I remember my um, video format. Might as well do something. Yeah, about true. It. I remember my family, uh, specifically my sisters, complaining on Christmas Day because there's the game. Uh, because I would not give up the television. <laughs> For such a terrible game in the long run, but we didn't know that back then. Yeah, it so. didn't matter because when you're a kid, you don't care how bad the game is. No. I mean, I you know, I mean, I I have a I I can list a slew of horrible NES games I of owned course. when I was a kid because you didn't of know course. when you bought it. There was no. no there was no internet to give you reviews. Nope. we just had to rely on uh, friends what? and word of mouth. Um, yeah, basically. You know, Funny you mentioned that game uh, because that game also is the game responsible for a 16 or 17 year old being fired from Toys R Us uh, yes. when he did not get me the game that my mother bought me. So yes. uh, that, that's a fun story we can tell later. Uh, another time. I do, I do <laughs> love that story. That is the an awesome wrath, story. The wrath of my mother getting people fired because I was unhappy. Oh boy. Right, Talk right. about only child. Your, your your mother is a wonderful woman, but I would n- and I definitely would not want to get on her bad side. <laughs> Hi, Beth. <laughs> You're the second person to say that between her and my father. It's like, I'd rather not mess with your mother. Frank said that the other day. I was like, you're right. Um, no, that's pretty cool. And, and you're right, you know, especially for you, you're, like you said, your birthday's near the tail end of Christmas. Um, I can't imagine what it's like to have that birthday, like, in December and you celebrate, whether it's Christmas or Hanukkah, yeah. whatever you celebrate, and, you know, you get kind of, you kind of get gypped out of a present. Like, my godson was born, is born on December 7th. And, you know, it's, I mean, he's still young, you know, he's he's only nine, so of course he's going to get a birthday present and a Christmas present, but eventually reality should be kicking in. <laughs> and it's only really going to be one condensed uh, present soon. So... You know, at least mine's spaced out. I got March, so I'm pretty much good to go okay. uh, for a little while there. Um, another uh, holiday uh, Christmas that I do remember is getting. Um, uh, yeah, it was Christmas because we all uh, were at my grandmother's house um, way back when. And I remember for Christmas, so I'm opening the presents uh, at my grandmother's. You know, the family's there. And again, I'm like the only, I was the only kid there. I was the only grandchild. I was the first grandchild. My cousins weren't around yet. Um, so I had nobody to talk to. <laughs> so I'm opening my presents. And I remember my my uncle got me, I opened it up, and it's a, a, a lunchbox. Like an okay. old school 80s plastic lunchbox. I don't remember who was on the cover, whether it was wrestling, video games, a movie, or whatever it was. So I'm like, oh, okay. And you know, being polite, I'm like, oh, thank you. Um, because one time when I was little, someone gave me a present. I was like, oh, I don't want this. Oh, 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 oh boy, was I taught never to do that again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was like, thank you. Uh, this is, you know, very nice. I open up the lunch boxes. You, you, there's a thermos in there uh, for those of us who can remember now because it was so long ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, the thermos inside. When I opened the uh, when I opened the lunch box, there was a copy of Super Mario Brothers two, and then I flipped out. Oh yeah, I was like, oh, boom! Yeah. My head exploded. Yeah, uh, lunch box goes flying across. Oh, the totally. Room. <laughs> who needs this? Throwing it out. And uh, meanwhile, still looking for a Nintendo that no one had. Um, but um, no, that that was like one of my one of my biggest surprises growing up, uh, video game wise. It was a couple other Christmas ones, but video game wise, I remember that one. And I remember another story <laughs> vividly. I'll tell real quick. And again, um, kind of featuring how you know my mom. If you cross her, she she will get a little bit of revenge on you. So, and I've told this one before, but again, we have new listeners and it's been 365 days. So, um, me and my dad were downstairs in the basement. Uh, that's where our living room was, uh, watching TV was what it was. So I was going upstairs, I think probably getting ready to go to sleep. And when I was going upstairs, it was, I, it was Christmas Eve. And when I went upstairs, uh, my mom was in the kitchen or in the living room, um, dining room wrapping presents. And I caught her wrapping a Sega CD Ooh. and I was not, were you a snooper? Were you a snooper um, during Christmas? No, only no? once. Only once. <laughs> Why once? What were uh, you looking for? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> or did your sister hire you to try and find something? No, no, no. I, I never liked. I never liked knowing ahead yeah. of time what I was gonna get. Um, and and again, you know, because it's it's just look. The, part of the fun is the surprise of it all. Of course. Uh, the only the only time I snooped was for um, WWF Raw for Super Nintendo. <laughs> 
awesome. <laughs> I love not, it. Yeah, because not only did I not only did I uh, snoop to find it, but I also talked my mother into giving it to me on December fourth when I found it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's even worse. It's one thing to find it and then okay, even if you have crack yeah. open the wrapping a little bit, oh. but you made her. <laughs> no. no, well, you know what? It was her fault. She didn't wrap it. Okay, <laughs> it was still in the bag. Where was it? I'm not saying specifically. Like, was it deep hidden? No, I mean, no. I mean, it was just like right in her closet. It I was wasn't just that saying, hard no, to find. I'm just threw it in the in the no, closet. Like, you know, yeah, in the closet on the floor. She always kept the the, the shopping bags, and it yeah. just so happened that it was it was right there, the Toys R Us bag. <laughs> and I'm like, oh look, raw. <laughs> um, I be- I believe I also got Lion King that year. So, um, well, that's cool. It, it was '94, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Like but, yeah. you know, all I did was I just talked to her. I said, look, I go, I promise you I'm going to play it past Christmas. I was like, can I just have it now? And, and of course, her response was, well, you know, don't get mad. You know, she's like, well, don't no. get mad. You're not going to have as many presents. And I'm like, I don't care. I was like, I just want it now. <laughs> That is amazing. Uh, and, and I can picture that whole thing going down. <laughs> so the bottom line is, I got it on December 4th, and I, I must have played that game for at least a year. Oh, I was going to say, it would be funny if you beat it on Christmas Eve and be like, eh, all right, done. <laughs> well, there was, I mean, in wrestling games back then, there really was nothing to beat. You just played. But then you were like, I'll play it past Christmas, but you get to Christmas Eve, you're like, I'm done. <laughs> I Actually, everybody. I remember that Christmas specifically. It was, uh, it was Raw, Lion King, and I think the Power Rangers game for... Uh, Ooh. I think it was the Power Rangers game. That should have um, been a good one, yeah. Yeah, it, it was great. I beat it in 30 minutes and didn't know what to do with it afterwards. There you go. Just return it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like with the Sega CD, um, so when I saw my mom rapping it, I was like, oh. Er. Well, first of all, I was kind of confused because I'm like, wait, no, Sega CD came out in 94. Maybe I shouldn't have been confused mm-hmm. or came out around then. Anyway, so I saw her rapping it, bottom line, and I kind of slunk back downstairs. And my dad's like, why aren't you going upstairs? I'm like, uh, nothing. Like I didn't, I don't know why I just didn't tell him I saw mom rapping the gifts. He's like, and then now he's like, go upstairs and go to bed. I'm like, can I just wait a few minutes? And he's probably like, no, go to bed. So now I go up and and I, I think I tried to sneak past her, but I think she caught me. So I'm like, all right, I go in my room. Next day, I fall asleep. Next day, Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, unwrapping everything, unwrapping everything. Um, oh, and then also, you know, remember, no, I don't have one. Uh, but remember, like at one point, I was able to tell. By the shape of the box, yes. What the games were and what other things were. Mm-hmm. So I'll gravitate to the games first, and I start wrapping them. Um, later on, my parents put them in the different boxes, so they the throw me off the scent. But um, when I was done wrapping, I opened up the last gift, and there was no Sega CD. So now I'm like, uh oh, do I say something? So now I'm just sitting there. Do I call her out on it, or do I just be like? Okay, Merry Christmas, thank you. And I basically did, I just kind of sat there pretending I was selling it. I mm-hmm. probably was doing a bad job, but I was selling it like, okay, I got all my presents. Yay. And my mom's like, it's under the couch. <laughs> nice. So I went over and grabbed it. And I don't even think she I think she stopped. It was like half wrapped. I think she was done wrapping it at that point. <laughs> well, you know, you saw it. That's it. Too bad. I, I was so mad that I saw it. <laughs> And so then it was like mad about you, you know, you, just, you were gonna I get know. it the next day. Yeah. Still, meanwhile, this Christmas, me and my parents, all because th- it, it's only the three of us, we just basically like to each other. Uh, get me that. I'd like that for Christmas. Get me that for Christmas. So we picked what we wanted, and just told the other ones mm-hmm. to buy it. That's all, all of us did that. So oh, I do was, that. I do that every year with my family because if they don't, <laughs> if they don't tell, I tell them all the time. I go, if you don't tell me what you want, you're getting a gift card. And there, you know. Dang thing wrong with a gift card, people. I'm no. telling you right now. No, there isn't. I love gift. No, there isn't. I mean, at the, as I've gotten older, I've become more accustomed to the fact of, look, I'm not going to run around and try and guess what to get somebody. And I don't want to get somebody something that they may not like. So I'd rather entrust them with, look, here's a gift card. Go and go pick out whatever you want and enjoy it. I know it. I for a long time I thought it was impersonal. But at I this know. point, I'm like. Especially with adults, You're like you know, my sisters, we're all growing up and everything like that. It's like I don't know what you need. I was like, maybe you need a sweater, maybe you need pants, maybe you need pots and pants. I don't care. I was like, here, go get them. I was like, don't and make like, me guess. And not even like doesn't have to be like a, for me at least. It doesn't have to be like a Visa gift card or a Best Buy gift card. I'll take a three month subscription for the WWE Network. I'll take a yeah. PlayStation card. I'm good with those. I'm not going to complain. Hint. So you know, because um, he does drop on Christmas. Ignored. 
Oh, ouch, ouch. Um, so yeah, so Christmas, you know, and, and the other things I remember about Christmas is that whole kind of getting together and with the new games, you know, playing them, you know, well, my parents would just watch me play. I know everyone in your family kind of got together to play some games and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I think Tetris may have been a Christmas gift that uh, I did not play as much as my family did. <laughs> thank you for this gift. Why are you taking it away from yeah, me? Yeah, thank you for this gift. Um, can I get a turn? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, for me, just one more memory that I'll always remember. Um, and it's kind of funny uh, because I haven't been there in years. I'm dying to go back. So my dad at work, um, cr- Christmas bonus mm. and, you know, he would get a Christmas bonus at the end of the year. And that was the big trip. And I, I grew up when well, we both grew up in Brooklyn. And I remember that was the trip during like a week before Christmas or maybe a week after we would travel all the way. It felt like miles and hours away, probably because of traffic to the Staten Island mall. Ooh. Oh yeah, because you know you only get so much out of Kings Plaza, that is true. <laughs> especially nowadays. Um, so we go all the way to the Staten Island Mall, and that was the day I was able to pick two video games to get in the same day, which was you know mind blowing back then. Especially seeing some of these ads that you know I, you've posted some ads on the on the Facebook page. Other yeah. people post some old ads. I, I love the ads. I don't remember. Uh, tangent here we go i don't remember games being like 80 90 dollars no you you remember this no i don't remember it but i don't as kids i don't think it was our job to look at the prices no but i do well no like nes games i don't you know why i figured it was pricey is because again if we went and it was like my birthday or a special occasion Mm -hmm. i was only able to buy one game christmas that it was a big deal to buy two games but i do remember like Super NES or even N64 being in like the 60s and $70 price range. Yeah. Um, but like I remember I don't know if you posted it or someone else posted it. It was like yeah. Donkey Kong Country or something was like $80. No, yeah. this was brand new in the 90s. Yeah, I think um I think what happened was specific games because they were using, I don't know, larger memory mm-hmm. or something like like Donkey Kong Country, I think was one of those games that had to use a larger memory uh chip. Super FX chip maybe. Right. Whatever it was, like we, yeah, we wound up paying for it on our end. Like, um, for me, the first system that I remember where games became regularly sixty dollars was the N sixty four. Up until that point, I think the general price for any game was fifty. Actually, even I think N sixty four may even been like regularly, maybe even like seventy dollars. Um, I think, I think so. I think especially like Zelda or something. Cause Um, I remember when I got my N64, I'm like, geez, I go, these games are expensive. Cause I got the two, I got the two launch games, which were Mm -hmm. Super Mario 64 and Pilot Wing 64. Yeah. Um, So yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean uh, the 80, $90 ones, like I think Mortal Kombat was one of those expensive ones. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I do not remember that at all. But then again, like I said, at that point I wasn't buying for myself. So I was agreed. Just like, Oh, agreed. I want that one. (laughs) <laughs> gimme 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 <laughs> so uh yeah so the big satin island mall trip uh definitely always remember um and that was you know the big two two game day so uh, that always worked out well um but yeah you know it's that's what it is christmas um nowadays uh you know we both have nephews you have some nieces but i don't know if they're into gaming um my well i'm not a nephew but a godson uh and his brother really big into gaming so as much as I don't have, nor do I want, uh, any children. Again, another podcast. Uh, I'm very happy, though, to be able to purchase some games for my godson, for his brother. In fact, I have a copy of, because they don't listen to the podcast, I have a copy of, um, what I get them? Um, Super Monkey Ball, the new one, okay. uh, for the Xbox. I wanted to get it on Switch, but they were sold out, actually. It was crazy. Because oh. um, the one on Switch, you can get Sonic in it. Uh, oh, it's like an exclusive, cool. yeah. But but I got it on Xbox, and then I got them. I got the family um, a copy of uh, Let's Sing um, Country because oh, okay. they love country music. So oh, I got okay. them that, and they'll enjoy it. Um, did and you get them, the, did you, did yeah. you get them earplugs to go with it? <laughs> I won't be in the house, so I don't care. Um, and what's cool about the Let's Sing again? Here's the modern technology. Xbox version comes with two microphones, but if you want, you can also use your cell phone. Oh, that's as, cool. a, as an input, so nice. that was cool. Yeah, um, but yeah, and that's actually I got to wrap those gifts. So yeah, and my nep- my nephew, both of my nephews are into ga- uh, games. You know, they're uh, they're young. I mean, one is mm-hmm. um, 
Wait, where 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 are we at age wise? Oh. Uh, one is nine, and the other is I want to say fourteen. 14. Yeah. Oh my God, fourteen! I know who you're talking uh, about too. Good yeah. So Lord. the so the fourteen year old is still into uh, Pokemon. Okay. So so he's really cool, but he's also into the trading cards. So um, wow. I got okay. yeah. So um, he's gonna love his gift because I got him a box of one of the new Ooh, Pokemon nice. trading card sets. Um, cool. So he'll have fun unwrapping those. Uh, and then my nephew, though, um, he, my other nephew, my nine-year-old nephew, uh, he loves Roblox, which is yeah, this, oh, yeah. yeah, it's like one of those things. So my sister's yep. like, get him a Roblox gift card. I'm like, I don't want to get him a gift card. He's nine, you know, <laughs> but she's like, no, he really wants Roblox stuff. I was like, all right, fine, whatever. And I think well, that's I'd... what I, no, wait, I didn't get him that. I got him toys. Anyway, whatever. Um, <laughs> the bottom line is he does play games. <laughs> there you go. So the, yeah. the new generation will continue on. Uh, we will continue to show them old games that they will continue to reject and That's play awesome. all this new stuff. <laughs> yeah, honestly. So uh, let us know your Christmas memories on you know Instagram, t- uh, Instagram at Retro Gamers Podcast, Facebook uh, at Retro Gamers Podcast, Twitter at Retro Gamers Pod. Uh, of course, you can email us as well. Email the retrogamers dot com. We'll tell you all that at the end of the episode as well. But we definitely want to hear some of your holiday traditions: um, Hanukkah, Christmas, yes. Kwanzaa. You know. Boxing Day. There we go. That too. Those Canadians, they get crazy. Forget about it. Yes. They love their Boxing Day and they celebrate Thanksgiving way early. So, uh, but let us know. We want to hear from you. All right, Larry, it wouldn't be Christmas without a retro birthday. And, and you may not you may not think there are retro birthdays on Christmas, but there have been games that have released on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Really? Christmas Day. I mean, I can kind of get Christmas Eve, but not Christmas Day. All right, well, that's what we got. Now, granted, uh, cr- the Christmas Day ones are uh, releases in Japan, not necessarily in the States. Oh, okay. All right. So we'll put it that way. Uh, Fair enough. So, I, so, and just to share a handful of these. So Christmas Eve in 1988 in Japan, so 31 years ago, um, they released Mega Man 2. Oh, wow. So they okay. Have- so they actually That's got cool. that on Christmas Eve. I think we yeah. got it a little bit later. We always yeah. used to get the games later than that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so Mega Man Two came out on Christmas Eve, mm-hmm. on Christmas Day, and these are the these I picked out because they're just fun to yeah sure. So on Christmas Day, um, Sonic the Hedgehog was released in two thousand five on the J two M E. Well, I don't even know what that is. Okay. Uh, the J two M E was one of the, I think it was one of those handheld uh, wasn't that one of those handheld phone game oh well, probably yeah. kind of like the uh like the taco whatever it yeah. was yeah whatever that thing was the nokia no what was yes. that thing called <gasps> uh it was the um i want to say links but that's atari uh, oh gee something yeah whatever it is one of those so the j2me was one of oh, those that's gonna bug me now uh, okay cool cool and they released sonic on there in 1999 on christmas day in japan uh for the n64 they got castlevania legacy of darkness oh sorry that was a rough christmas apparently yeah what well, yeah apparently. <laughs> uh, Bad time to be in Japan. And then in 1989 on Christmas Day. Okay. And this is a throwback. I had to mention this because we haven't mentioned this in a while. 1989, Super Hang On was released on the Sharp X68000. Oh, wow. That has That is a blast from the past, folks. The Sharp 68... Wait, I was just looking at something like that, too. That's like, oh, that's the Sharp X68000. Wow, that's cool. All yeah, right. We, we haven't brought that up uh, in a while. So... No. Um, uh, but those those are just a handful of games that were released on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Again, most of them were released in Japan. Here in the States, they didn't drop games on Christmas Day, except okay. now in the age of digital downloads. Um, like Probably. I think, like I think Super Mario Brothers on the Wii, the original Super Mario Brothers, was released on Christmas Day oh, back in like two thousand five or six. But Probably, yeah. you know, it's easier to drop things digitally on Christmas Day. But there were some actual physical games released. Granted, you had to go to Japan to get them, but. <laughs> That's what it is, and that is this week's Very Merry Retro Birthdays. All right, so we are going to get ready to start to wrap this up. We had some things to talk about because it is Christmas time. And uh, first, I just want to mention, because, you know, with Christmas uh, comes shopping uh, for either yourself or loved ones. uh, In this case... I was going to say that's one in the same for me. And um, I did pick up. I don't have them with me right now. <laughs> My friend's actually borrowing them for his kids. But um, nice. I picked up three homebrews 
from Ooh. game on. And I got to say, I played them and they are fantastic. So one of them is, uh, and they're all for Genesis and they all work on an original Genesis console. Okay. So that's what we played it on. First one is the arcade port, if you will, of Fix It Felix Jr. Oh, wow. From the game, from the movie. Um, that's awesome. And they did make actual arcade cabinets. Yes. When the movie came out of Fix It Felix Jr., the like the actual game in the game. Um, the one this one done on Genesis, I mean it's phenomenal. It's it's the voices. What is it? John C. Riley, and I forgot who played Fix It Felix. The uh, one from uh 30 Rock. Oh. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Anyway, um, so you know, their voices like in the game, I'm gonna wreck it, I can fix it. Mm -hmm. And the game runs smooth too for a homebrew. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then I picked up two uh, variants, if you will, of Street Fighter. No, of Streets of Rage Two. Ah, yes, I did see those. Yes, one is the Ninja Turtles edition, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which uh, runs That's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, all it is, they just replace the characters with the Ninja Turtles. Um, the Ninja Turtles do have their moves, but that's like like there's no pizza in the game or anything like that. But still, it's pretty cool. Okay, the op the opening's the same, it's just niche. But the other one, the guy who coded this other one, he went further into it. It's uh, Streets of Rage 2, The Simpsons Edition. Mm -hmm. And first of all, not only do you play as The Simpsons, which is basically their sprites from The Simpsons arcade game, but like on the character select screen, you can select like 25 different characters. Like oh, he wow. loaded, the person loaded in almost all the enemies in the game, plus... Because I think he replaced the final boss with Mr. Burns and Smithers and stuff like that. Oh, nice. And the opening text, instead of being all the opening text from Streets of Rage, literally it's like blah, 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 blah. It literally says blah, 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 blah. It's got like a yellow tone to it to match The Simpsons. Nice. Um, so that one is really cool. It even has like a little bit of The Simpsons theme in it. So that one went a little bit further. Um, so I picked up those three and they work perfectly. So I cannot wait. One day, hopefully in 2020, to get the Poly Mega so that I can play these games uh, and actually stream them as well at some point. All right. Very so cool. I pick, yep, pick that up. And we're going to talk about sales uh, in a moment. Um, the one I want to talk about, because I know Anthony usually has all the details about the sales and everything. Uh, one I want to talk about, I don't know if it's still going on at the time that this drops, So, but on the Switch, and I think it was for the PlayStation and Xbox as well, but I got these on the Switch. There's a series of arcade games called Johnny Turbo's Arcade. Okay. Um, you know, we've talked in the past, Ant, uh, about arcade ports from on the Nintendo, Super Nintendo. It was never like a true arcade representation. Uh, best example yeah. for me, Turtles 2, the arcade game. Yes. So, you know, the graphics a little different. Um, and for Nintendo, you had to add different, like two different levels. Mm. It was some weird rule that they had. So... You know, it was a long time before we got true arcade copy games. I'm talking of the old games. You know, the Dreamcast yeah. helped with newer ones. This Johnny Turbo's Arcade, though, these games, I mean, they are straight from the arcade. They are awesome copies of games, and they normally sell for like eight bucks. They were on sale for two dollars each. Oh, wow. One of them was like a dollar seventy five for some reason. Um, hmm. And, you know, some that we've heard of like Burger. Well, there's one called Super Burger Time. Uh, I guess it's like a sequel to Burger yeah, Time. I know you don't like Burger Time. I do not like Burger Time. I all. love Burger Time. <laughs> um, and then, but they also have copy um, Caveman Ninja, which is basically Joe and mm. Mac. You remember that game? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yep. Uh, Joe and Mac Returns, which mm -hmm. if you have the Super NES collection on the Switch, you actually have that. Joe and Mac 2 is on there. Um, but the ones I picked up, just, which is basically all of them. There's, there's, there's not a lot of them, but for two bucks each, I picked up uh, Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja, which we okay. got as Bad Dudes. Uh, Gate of Doom um, and Wizard Fire, I think, are sequels to each other. They kind of play like um, Diablo. Okay. That, that style. Uh, Sly Spy, uh, uh, Two Crew Dudes, mm. Shootout, yep, Breakthrough, Heavy Barrel, uh, Super Real Darwin. Uh, Nitro Bowl, Express Raider, uh, and then one I didn't pick up because it was a fighter. I just wasn't interested in it. Uh, Fighter's History. Oh, so cool. um, so not bad. Uh, very good. Uh, hopefully, the, if the sale's still going on, I recommend to pick them up. Uh, great quality arcade games. Nice. Yeah. Um, and then uh, flipping over to my side of things, uh, in terms of shopping, um, every, time I, every time I travel for work, um, I always pick up a couple of games for the Switch to um, entertain right. myself on my very long flights, or in this case, the <laughs> 
eight flights I took in seven days. Oh, my God. That's a whole other story. Yes, I love it. Uh, that's a story I care not to tell anymore. I want to know about uh, the taxi. Uh, oh, no, you don't. Um, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to know about the taxi, <laughs> and yet it happened. Um, so anyway, um, uh, I always buy a couple of games for the Switch to play while I'm on the flights because you know I'm flying for like 20 hours or whatever yeah. the hell it is, um, or 15. Um, so on the Switch, I picked up a couple of uh, digital downloads. Um, one was called uh, Thimbleweed Park, I believe. Or... Oh yes, yeah, that is a kind of a homage if you will to um maniac mansion yeah it's one of those point and click uh yep. one of those point and click games um and it's basically like uh there's a there's a murder in thimbleweed park and you're the investigators uh, the, the detectives trying to figure it out mm -hmm. um and it, it feels like it's got a little of a molder and scully vibe from x files <laughs> with two characters like okay. um, she's super sarcastic and doesn't want the the partner and he's like this overly enthusiastic like like new detective who wants to <laughs> solve this thing um and then of course it's a town full of creepy people so of it's course. like twin peaks and x files um, okay but uh i'm only a little bit into it but it's really fun the interactions are, are funny the, the okay the, cool yeah the lines are good um it's a cool little game uh the other game that i played and actually completed though um during my travels was uh, another game called crossing souls Ooh, I never heard of that one. And it's basically, and the reason the reason why I bought it is because it's um, it's an homage to the '80s, and it's okay. about it's about these five kids that um, that find. Uh, it's very interesting how the story the story kind of unravels like a bunch of '80s movies that they put together to make the story. So this kid says he found a dead body, and they go find the dead body, <laughs> like stand by me. But the All dead right. body's got something, got this item on it. And what the item does is it allows you to see the spirit world. Um, and then there's this evil, there's this evil Russian guy who wants to get his hands on this thing. So the kids are trying to keep it from him. Um, and again, it's like all like all the references in it are eighties. It's like just totally, mm -hmm. and you see all these little things. And I bought it specifically for the homage, but it was a cool little game, uh, very basic in terms of the um, the battle gameplay and stuff like okay. that. But um, but the story itself was actually surprisingly fun um depressing at times because <laughs> you're dealing with the spirit world and uh, i don't want to give away anything that happens in the game okay but um it was definitely worth the it was definitely worth buying and playing through like i really enjoyed the story um and story you know story is one of the main points of a, a successful game so uh, for anybody who wants to play something and it, it, it's only like maybe maybe six or eight hours worth of time oh, it's not bad uh, yeah so it's not it's not terribly long um but okay. really really fun um, you know, you mentioned terribly depressing sometimes. Um, I got to fail to mention um, probably one of the most depressing levels uh, was a Christmas level in a video game. I think I've talked about this before. Elite Beat Agent on yes. um, on DS. And it's a it's a you know, it's a rhythm game and you play to the music. And it was uh, what Chicago's uh, your my inspiration. I think it was Chicago was saying that yes. you're my inspiration. No, no, no. Something we, we talked about this. No, uh, it's Christmas. Let me do it. It's Christmas. No, no. Ah. no. Anyway, is, so when your voice is not the gift that keeps on giving. Wow. Oh, holy night. That's <laughs> like Homer Simpson. Um, so no, in the gotta, game, no, the only person who sings that well is Cartman. What? <laughs> that is true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something, something, <laughs> presents. Um, so in the level you're playing, and as you play the game, the story unravels on the top screen. And if you mess up, it goes awry. But long story short, you're playing the game. The father goes off to, on a meeting. It's Christmas. A year you don't realize it's a year later. They're baking cookies, and the daughter's like, "Is dad coming home this week?" And mom's like. Uh, no. And then you realize it was a plane crash. He died. And as you play the game, he's like coming back to her. But if you screw up the game, he goes away. Oh, oh. it's, it's terribly. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it messes is... with you. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I kind of want that game now. Oh man. Just you can you, go. I mean, you can pull it up on YouTube. Just search a uh, leap beat agents. You're my inspiration. And it'll yeah. show, you know, like the, the full run of it. I played it. I'm like sitting there. I'm like, can't get my salty tears on the DS. Oh mm -hmm. my God. It was so depressing. <laughs> and the version like of it is a very somber version of your, I mean, the songs are somber, to right. begin with. but it, 
<laughs> you gotta check it out on YouTube. It's okay. It's, it's terribly I will, depressing. I, I will definitely check that out. <laughs> but anyway, getting back to uh, getting back to sales. Yes. Um, I've been again. What Christmas so I, is all about. What Christmas is about buying stuff, um, and for yourself. So okay. um, uh, I bought those two games for the Switch. Crossing Souls, I finished. I'm working on Thimbleweed Park now, which is really cool. And um, okay. I have a. Uh, uh, I grant that this this episode drops the day after I arrive in New York, but I have a flight. Yes. I have a flight to play it on, you know, tomorrow. Um, the PlayStation Four has been uh, I, very interesting. They've been dropping sales since Black Friday. There was a Black Friday sale. There was a Cyber Monday sale, and now there's a holiday sale. <laughs> it's like, no, there's one more after that. I don't know if you saw it. Which one? There's a holiday sale, and then there's a year end sale. Oh God, <laughs> I, I, you know I. As much as I say I can't handle it, I just keep buying games anyway. But it's so. it's not like the price keeps dropping on the same game. They just might as well just, uh, it's... just put every game on sale. Uh, <laughs> um, so anyway, so the PlayStation Four sale is up and going, uh, all twenty of them, uh, <laughs> and, and you can go save some things. You save forty percent, fifty percent, sixty percent, whatever it is that you look yeah. for. But there are some really solid games on sale. For example, um, uh, um, Jedi Star Wars Jedi Fall on Order, which just came out, they dropped by yeah. ten bucks. All right, not bad. So it's fifty bucks. Uh, Death Stranding, which also just came out a couple months ago, was forty bucks. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man Game of the Year Edition is twenty dollars. Now I know you keep telling me if you have not played this game, <laughs> you owe it to yourself. For twenty bucks, you get all of the DLC and everything. I just hit a hundred percent on the game on the regular. Oh, okay. Cool. I haven't played the DLC game, but let me tell you something. This game <laughs> is by far and away one of the best games I have ever played. Beautiful. I'm Graphics I've are never... amazing. The story is unbelievable. Um, everything about it, awesome. I've never heard you praise a game so much as you do the Spider-Man game, in yes. all honesty. It makes me want to be Spider-Man. Um, Any of us could be. I'm more yes. of a Doc Ock, I think, kind of guy, but... You know. No, I, I I think I can... Well, as you can see, I can rock the red. So. This is true. So. This is true. Can, can you wear a mask? Uh, yes, I can wear a mask. Well, but can I, at least... Can, can, uh, I can wear the mask. Can I be in shape? To be Spider-Man, I no. would. That maybe. Well, you're better shaped than I am. I'll tell you that much. I was going to say though, when you used to wear your glasses, that would have been a little tough. You have the mask on and then the glasses over it. Well, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I can be like, I can be like a vision, you know, visually impaired Spider-Man. Bionicle. I just, I just swing into buildings. Or was of it a <laughs> I got you. That's the child. Whatever. <laughs> it's like you're safe. I'm the bad guy. Oh crap. <laughs> Oops. Um, oh. Anyway, uh, so Spider Man, if you haven't played it, get it. Um, okay. The remake for Resident Evil Two is down to twenty bucks, or the deluxe edition is only twenty three dollars. All right, extra three so, bucks. Why not? Yeah. So if you don't have that, I bought I bought RE Two on Black Friday. Okay. Um, Red Dead Redemption Two Ultimate Edition is normally a hundred dollars. It's down to forty. There you go. Uh, something to look at. Uh, I think I also saw the um, Crash Bandicoot trilogy. Was on sale. Oh, um, yeah. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled is uh, twenty four bucks. Uh, mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat Eleven is twenty four bucks. Um, let's see what else. Rocket League is ten. Again, I'm just flipping oh, through wow. stuff. Right now. That's yeah. not bad. Not bad at all. No, it's not bad at all. Um, WWE Two K Twenty is thirty. Yuck yuck. Um, <laughs> should have been. <laughs> it should be free. That game is a disaster. <laughs> but uh, oh, Final Fantasy 15 is also on sale. Um, the remake, really... not the remaster. Yeah, the remake. Okay. Uh, Final Fantasy 8, the re, uh, the re, uh, re bleh, the release, re-release, whatever you want to call it, it's on sale. Yeah. So bottom line is, go check out the sale on PS4 if you have one. You can find a lot of current games and retro games on there that are uh, on sale. So definitely check those out. Definitely. And you know what? I'm going to give a shout out uh, for the people who, the few of us who have a Google Stadia uh, right now, if you're All part of the pro, of if you're part of the pro deal, and I got someone's online that I'm friends with who's playing Rise of the Tomb Raider. All right. Uh, some sales going on there. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 60 bucks down to $24. Uh, Grid, which I believe is a Stadia exclusive. Oh. Um, yeah, the base game, 60 bucks down to 24 uh, The Bundle. 85 okay. down to 34. It's not bad. Oh, nice. Um, I'm just trying to find some more sales. Yeah. Uh, go. Uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint on Stadia is uh, 30. That's half price. Mm -hmm. 
including the Ultimate Editions, are half price as well. And Borderland 3, a um, little less than half, but uh, definitely on sale. So check those out. And uh, Just Dance, which if we all remember, Just Dance 2019. Oh, yeah. uh, Top-selling system for Just Dance was the Switch. The second top-selling system was the Wii <laughs> in the people UK. Are, hey, look, people in are still UK. getting it on the Wii. So, um, so definitely check that out. Of course, the I'm still waiting to see what the free games in January are for Stadia. I'm afraid to buy anything just in case they become free. Yes. Like what happened with Tomb Raider? But I'm mm-hmm. dying to play. I can't wait to get Farming Simulator going. Actually, that was free. Oh uh, yeah, um, yeah. I'm not on the Stadia bandwagon yet. So no, it's it's. Hey, look, it's you know everyone's different, and uh, you know I, I like it for the whole digital part of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you know it's it's going to take a little while to get its uh, feet under them. So yeah, did we also talk about um, not necessarily sales, but just something to bring up? I think we posted it on our page, but I don't know if we mentioned it, but. Um, the um, uh, Resident Evil Three Nemesis is now getting. Oh uh, um, no, we didn't talk about it. Yeah, no, it's now getting a, a remaster. Um, that's cool. going to be awesome. Yes, um, you know I saw the trailer. I think you saw the trailer as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks fantastic. Nemesis just is going to look freaky in HD. Yes, uh, or four K at this point. Um, and I liked Resident Evil Three. Um, I yeah. liked it, but it. it got on my nerves because of nemesis constantly coming after you like we talked about yes so i don't know what that's gonna look like in 4k i don't know i think it's gonna be fun and then now there's the i don't know if it's a rumor of if they've confirmed that that silent hill is um um there's a rumor I, that it may be getting gonna, re, uh, a remake i'm gonna say rumor for now uh yeah. nothing official yet but you know it's down the pike so yes. it's got to be at some point yeah uh, so i really I, hope they do because that game's amazing yes it was uh, yeah, that's that it on the sales. Anything else happening there? Or... Um, that's all. I mean, again, it's end of the year. Pretty much everything uh, digitally, everything is on sale. So, like, go check out your systems. Uh, yes. See, you know, what any games that you've been holding off on now might be the time to pull the trigger. Absolutely. Um, uh, I've added a number of games to my collection that will stay shrink wrapped forever. So, because <laughs> that's what yeah. I do. Um, well, like I said, I bought a ton of those arcade games for the Switch that I'm loving. Yeah. So getting that going, um, and I picked up, uh, well, I didn't pick up, uh, maybe just to mention real quick as well, speaking of the Switch, because it's on the classic side of things, yep. uh, six games were added, uh, four Super Nintendo games, two NES games were added to the collection Ooh, nice. on the Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, the four Super Nintendo, I'm doing this on the top of my head, so forgive me. The four Super Nintendo are Breath of Fire 2. Um, I want to say a Kirby game, mm-hmm. like the six All Star one or whatever it is, um, and then two others I don't remember. So, <laughs> but um, on the NES, there's uh, cr- I want to say it was Crystalis, it's called. Okay. Um, yes. And mm-hmm. yes, and Journey to Silius, which if you haven't played that game, I have never played that. It is awesome me and mario um you know friend of ours he's been on the show a few times uh he just happened to have a copy of it um and we were we were playing i've never heard of the game before it's got like a terminator feel to it because i think it was originally supposed to be a terminator game but then the license was lost but it's a side scroller and it was it's such a sleeper hit almost almost i'm gonna dare say in my opinion as solomon key solomon's key was um okay yeah almost almost um but it's available now on the Switch. Go play it. The game is difficult, but it is very fun. Right, so cool. that one, I want to highly recommend. And I, I the life means going to bomb with the other two Nintendo games are Super Nintendo games. I mean, but hey, if you got a Switch, go check it out because you go already check have. it out. But yeah, I mean, but getting back to the sales and everything like that, there are just so many going on right now. Just oh, checking yeah. out. I picked up a few on PS4. Uh, the only one that I'm remembering right now is Little Nightmares. Uh, okay. It's a cool. It's a cool. It's a cool little like um, horror game. If you've played Limbo. Um, or yes. inside, it's similar to those games. Okay, um, and it, it's cool. It's you know, creepy, creepy little kid in a raincoat that you're controlling, walking around, and there's this weird giant monster guy. Um, that's not odd at all. No, it's not for strange Christmas. at all. And yeah, for for, <laughs> for for look, give give your six year old something really special. A frightening game on your PlayStation. <laughs> Just tell them about Krampus, and they'll we'll call it a day. I would love to have a Krampus video game. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sure there is. There's got to be one somewhere. Steal the children. <laughs> oh, it's like a Denmark thing or something. I forget what uh, it's Yeah. So, oh, a German? <laughs> Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. So with that, folks, I think we're going to uh, land the reindeer. We're going to 
park this one on the roof and I don't know and all, all the Christmas and stuff. get stuck in the chimney. Yeah. Oh, poor Santa. Mm. <laughs> but he has a magical key. That's how he gets into the apartments. If no, you watch Christmas Eve on that, Sesame Street, he goes down the chimney. That's what he's supposed to do. Poor Big Bird was sitting there watching the chimney because Santa wouldn't be able to fit down it. That's very true. He wouldn't. And if you watch Gremlins, you'll hear a great story about Santa <laughs> happening in the chimney. Oh, Frank hates that story. <laughs> So, all right. So, with that, we're going to end it up here. Remember, folks, Instagram, uh, Facebook, at Retro Gamers Podcast, Twitter, at Retro Gamers Pod. Uh, and where can they email us and find us uh, elsewhere? Uh, they can email us at email at uh, theretrogamers.com or check out our website, theretrogamers.com. I, we don't really use our Twitter, do we? Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to boot it up again. Right. So. I'm, I'm, all, I'm awful at Twitter. Uh, I'm, the, I'm basically the Facebook guy. Fair enough. Yep, I'm the Instagram yeah. guy. Oh, and, uh, uh, yeah. and really quickly, I need to give a quick shout out to somebody because this oh, is super. Okay. This is a very special moment for me. It may not be video game related, but it's Christmas related. Oh, still, All I, right. I, I need to give a shout out to my friend Christine, who after two and a half years, I finally convinced her that Die Hard is a Christmas <laughs> movie. <laughs> Why would it not be a Christmas movie? It told it takes place on Christmas Eve, and, and she was so adamant about it not being a Christmas movie that she literally posted on Facebook, "Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Fight me!" <laughs> and all of her friends ganged up on her. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Which oh, is, you don't. But I love peer pressure, Christine. I'm so happy you've come around to uh, the Die Hard being a Christmas movie. Um, and you know, just just because I gave you the Die Hard Christmas book for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> didn't help but uh, i actually it was very good i uh, i logic her into it because i basically asked her is home alone a christmas movie and she looked at me and she gave me this little side eye and she's like yeah. damn it i know what you're doing <laughs> and i'm like because by your logic home alone would not be a christmas movie because it's just about a kid getting left home alone protecting yeah. his house from robbers it just so happens that it's a christmas die hard is a movie where uh, a, a building gets taken over by terrorists. It just so happens to be at Christmas. So if Home Alone is a Christmas movie, then Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Case closed. Anybody out there who listens to us, if you don't think Die Hard is a Christmas movie, too bad. You're wrong. It's not Christmas until Hans Gruber falls off the, the roof. That is correct. And I really want him to... I, I want to get a Hans Gruber to fall, like, fall off my tree. Like hanging. Oh, from my... yes. Didn't they also have the, the Christmas... Uh, someone made the Christmas ornament of... Uh... Of uh, Bruce Willis crawling through the ducks. No, no, no. <laughs> that's a, that's a legitimate. Christmas oh, is it? Oh, I thought someone just made it. Oh, I actually saw somebody online. Also, they did a tree topper of Nakatomi Plaza. That is fantastic. Please tell me it was on fire. <laughs> um, it was. They had little fire on top, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then they had uh, Hans hanging out the window. <laughs> It's well, great. let me tell you, I mean, you know, one of us worked in Nakatomi Plaza for a little while, the actual Nakatomi Plaza. Did it get a little weird during Christmas time, just in case, you know, you know, no, no, memories no, we of were, years no, past? No, no, we were good. We had, um, we had, <laughs> damn it. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name now all of a sudden. Um, uh, we had, we had, we always had, um, what's his name? Sergeant Al Powell in the lobby protecting oh. us, so we were good. <laughs> Al Powell, there's a poll. Good lord. All right, folks, we're gonna end it. Um, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas, Kwanzaa, everybody. There you go, happy everything. And uh, and I'm actually gonna see you in a couple of days, which is very nice. Yes, yeah, so our next episode uh, that we record will be together. Yes, finally together. Don't worry about this audio delay through Skype. No, not at all. But I'll see if I can somehow screw it up. Mm -hmm. And um, folks, okay. with. <laughs> With that, we will catch you on the last episode of the year next week. Mm -hmm. Yes, on yeah. the re yes on the Retro Gamers podcast. Mm -hmm.